Good evening, folks. Some of you probably know about the Texas rock wall. Some of you probably don't. We're going to go over what's there, what the mainstream wants you to believe, and an alternative, better explanation. In the aptly named city of Rockwall, Texas, there's an enormous structure buried beneath the dirt. It's dozens of feet high, an unbelievably enormous feature hidden below, including masterfully cut blocks, footholds for scaling the wall, and various ornamentations indicating some undeterminable facet of the ancient culture that built it. Based on the findings, they know it was an enclosure with separate sections resembling perfect geometrical shapes. These days, they don't like people coming around and trying to dig, especially since it's almost all now beneath private property. But the documentation is there, and it was unthinkably ignored for decades. Who could have built this giant structure, dozens of feet tall? How did it get covered up? Well, it just so happens the History Channel wanted to find out and end the mystery that had been so evasive to scrutiny until just the last few years. And here's where the mainstream got a hold of the topic and tried to control it. Poorly. The official explanation, according to a few professors in the episode, is that it's a natural structure. That's right, they say it's natural. Cut blocks, dozens of feet high, in geometrical shapes, with artistry and ornamentation. Not only that, but they say it's from the time dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Half of this comes from radioisotope dating, which many of you know has major problems, and also due to the fact that the blocks are magnetically aligned. Now here's where you have to go beyond major problems with isotope dating. One of their major points was that humans wouldn't have known about the magnetism and wouldn't have been able to lay the blocks in magnetic alignment. Total balderdash. There's evidence of ancient civilizations preferentially seeking areas we now know to have magnetic anomalies, and even the aboriginals claimed to have followed lines they could see in the sky, likely magnetic fields. Ley lines of Earth and the ancient sites hitting major intersections cannot be ignored, especially since the basis for those alignments was electromagnetic energy. The isotopes risk more than the known problems. In the event that we are talking about, the geomagnetic excursion and solar micronova, those are going to ruin the surface isotope composition, especially if hit by the primary nova shell, which we believe America was last cycle, 12,000 years ago. Which is why it was so much more pristine after the Younger Dryas and Gothenburg geomagnetic excursion than the rest of the world. Now that same energy, not to mention the induced geomagnetic current it would produce, would be able to surge through and remagnetize almost anything into its current alignment even if the builders knew nothing about magnetism. The point is that there are good explanations for the isotopes and the magnetism. There is no good explanation for natural structures forming like this, like a city with blocks and decorations in shapes. The structure, despite being dozens of feet tall, was buried in a past major event, but it wasn't slowly over 65 million years. And no, it's certainly not natural. The sizes of the blocks indicate that the civilization members would have to have been vastly bigger and stronger than modern humans, basically giants, and all their strength wasn't enough to build something that could withstand the ocean and the surge deposits. Crafted structure means it didn't have millions of years. It got covered up quickly, disastrously. The Texas rock wall, a little known major clue and constant reminder of what's coming to this planet when the ongoing geomagnetic excursion great solar flash and nova level isotopes and next age of earth arrives.